the, my brother, as you know, for, for him and for me, Nigeria is greater than all of us. And we must work hard, irrespective of our political differences, to ensure that we build a better Nigeria for our children. I came because of this fraud issue. As you can see today, fraud is ravaging the entire country. And people are dying. People are being displaced. I personally stopped and told my people, no more campaign until we are able to visit some of the sites. At least sympathize with those who are going through problems. And I came to take his permission to ask him that I want to visit some of the sites in Benue, as I'm going to do in one or two other states. I'm also calling other presidential candidates to stop. Let's see what we can do. If we can buy our funds for millions of Naira, we should have some little things to go now that people are suffering and say, at least show sympathy with them, and then we can continue. I don't have powers to detain people. As governor, you can go ask all the security agencies whether one day, one day, I've ever asked them to detain anybody. I will not do, I don't have powers to do that. I will never do that. Even if I'm president tomorrow, I will respect the rights of every Nigerian, no matter how small the person is. I don't do such things. For me, it's rascality. He, even in one of his comments, said it was Abuja people who detained him. I was an Abga. The federal government then is PDP. And the election is between PDP and everybody is involved. He came on behalf of his party, and PDP is contesting. Even me, I was not allowed to leave my local government as governor. So how will I be where I'm equally detained and detaining somebody? So I wasn't part of it. And I told him, he's my brother. I cannot detain him. I can never detain anybody. God didn't give me power. I don't, I govern by his grace. And his grace is not to do what is wrong. Okay, now Nigerians are beginning to say the presidential candidates we have, all of them have baggages, and even Obito has his own, that he was this, he was that, he was that. Are these things, are this, one of the things they said was that um, you were high-handed, that the doctors were on strike for six months, and all of that. Um, can you shed light on the person and the kind of government you can want you to run go, if you are can president? You go ask the doctors why they're on strike. Ask the teachers why they're on strike. After that, after the teachers' strike, we move from number 26 to number one. After the hospital strike, we won Bill Gates Prize for medicine, for health. Why? When you bring change, you have for enemy or those who live off the old order. I cannot buy ambulance or put something in general hospital and I can't find it. So we'll fight now. When teachers decided to do the what is the right, who did it, they went on strike. But they came back, agreed with me, and they started working. I'm sure if I become president tomorrow, some other people, including you, won't be happy with me. But it's not about happiness, it's about fixing the country. So people can have job, people can have means of livelihood and everything. It's not about pleasing people. Anybody, I'm not selling ice cream. My job is not making people happy. My job is to do the right thing for the country, for everybody. Do any assurance for those in these categories of these fears? What can you assuage them? I can assure people that I will be in charge and I will change this country. You will see people being pulled out of poverty. You will see it. Physically. They will feel it. They will see it happen. People saw it in Anambra State. The elites or those who live off the confusion will not be happy and they will complain. Yeah. The front runners of this 2023 presidential election are three of them from the PDP, my party, the APC, and the Labour Party. But let us look at these three people who has the capacity to deliver and to make things work for our country, Nigeria. 
Let us look at it. Let us be factual. Let us be frank with ourselves because we are toying with our future. A country of over 200 million people deserve a better leadership that is proactive, that has foresight, that has vision to make things work for our country. I look forward that these three uh, candidates of the various political parties will meet and say, look, let this man go. I'm in PDP, and I'm working for PDP, but I tell you, if I were not in PDP, you will see me working for Peter Obi. But I'm in PDP, so, so let's see how things work out. But the truth is that the Bible says, John 3, 27, a man can receive nothing except is given to him from above. And the Bible says again in Ecclesiastes 9, 11, the battle is not for the sweet, nor for the strong, nor the race, for the fastest runner, nor success for men of wisdom. But everything comes by time and chance as God gave it. So it doesn't matter. He may not have the way without, but if God decides, who can stop? And if God decides that like somebody has, it doesn't matter with all his credentials and capacity that I've said there. If God says it is not him, then it can't happen. But honestly, Nigerians should look for nothing less than having the best. No sentiments of partisanship, no sentiments of uh, where you come from, but sentiments about who can fix Nigeria.